Hello. Um, today we are going to talk about bead houses. Um, I had a question from a mom on what those really are, so I'm going to give a demonstration. Uh, we don't have bead houses in the environment. We use the addition strip board for that and the snake game. Um, but I am going to show you how we can work with the beads to make bead houses. Uh, this is obviously done after the child has mastered the short bead stair, which is the one bead all the way to the 10 bead or 9 bead, um, depending on which stair you use. And uh, um, we are going to just put beads together to make a certain length bead. And this just gets them familiar with the beads, the different colors, um, how they relate to each other, and how we can make, um, how can we, how, how we can add, you know, two, two beads together to make a certain um, number. So I'll show you. Today we're going to start with nine because it is our biggest bar in the box other than the 10 bar, but we don't have 10 bars in here. This is the nine bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. 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 Now we can continue doing this all the way down um, until we have the one and the eight again. <clears throat> you can use any one. You can start with five and you can do a five bead house um, and this is just manipulation with the beads learning what beads go together to make a certain number um, and it's really practicing uh, addition and the path to abstraction